If I get pink eye tomorrow, no fear it came from Chipotle. You made this mess and left me with the pieces. Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us. Happy market day. It is July 12th and we are heading to Oxford for their Under the Sea Red Brick Friday Market. It is a four hour market from 6 to 10 p.m. We are, hopefully, the lights will work that I bought for the tent. Um, they turn on, so that's great. I just hope it's enough light because last time we did a night, our first night market, our light was not bright enough by any means. So hopefully that one works. My mom's coming to this with me. We are heading there now. I'm excited. I have a lot of sales I'm doing, like my whale bookmarks, because it's under the sea theme. I'm doing them for $10. I'm doing all my sweatshirts for $29. If you watched my last vlog, I am trying to phase out all my Gildan sweatshirts and into another brand that is so much nicer. I'm still going to use Gildan for some stuff, but I think majority I'm going to, um, I'm not one, I'm not going to have as much clothing, and two, it's just what I have is going to be nicer. So. I'm hoping they sell. It is 80 degrees. I think it's like 84 right now. Um, but as it gets cooler, I'm hoping maybe some of those sweatshirts will sell. Um, but yeah, we'll see. The goal is, I have no idea because I didn't pay anything for this. So really anything is profit. So let's say our goal is gonna be 300. We're going to Oxford. I've never had a bad Oxford market, even when it was like nasty weather. So, Fingers crossed, let's just say, let's just throw it out there and say we're aiming for 300. I don't know why that number, I think it's because my husband said, um, you better come home with $300. <laughs> Joking, of course. Um, normally he says something like 10,000 or uh, like uh, unrealistic for me at least. Uh, so yeah, 300 is the number for the night. I had brought something to change into, so I'm finally gonna like look well, I'm not gonna look nice, but I'm gonna wear something that um, is nicer. It is a uh, a crab dress. It's actually not that cute, <laughs> but it's under the sea themed, so we're rolling with it. Let's get to the market. It took an hour 25 to set up, so better than normal. The band is also practicing, so I'm gonna try to be quick here. Um, I'm very hot, very hot. I have my sweat rag. And I have Starbucks. Like I said, we didn't fully ban it, um, but shows we will drink it still. And I had a change in their bathroom and I wanted to wash my hands. So, you know, it's really a win-win. They benefited and I did too. I think that's how retail establishments work though. <laughs> it's actually a lot smaller than I expected. So I'll try to do a walk around for you guys. I still have eight minutes until it starts. Um, but like they have the floaties. I don't know if you can see it from here. Um, but they're not blown up yet. So it does start in seven minutes now. Um, all sweatshirts, $21.00. I have blind date with the bookmarks. I'll show, I'll show you the tour clearly, but um, okay, I'm gonna get off. It's very loud. Yeah. 
hour check-in. It is exactly 7.05. We have sold one thing, a blind date with a book, Mark. Um, for $26, she got the book, and then uh, she got to pick out whatever book Mark she wanted. Um, and now I have my mom getting us food, which is probably gonna be the exact same price as what that book was. So we're likely even right now. <laughs> uh, but it's still not negative and that's amazing. Have I flashed anyone? Yes, I think I have. Um, I probably, it's the only like under the sea thing I know uh, is this crab one, so. Like I said, it's a very ugly dress. I'll try to do an outfit of the day for you so you can see it. It's cooling down a little bit, so that's also a positive. Three more hours. We're a quarter of the way through. I do think there's a decent amount of people here. I just, they're not stopping. They're just walking right by. Um, so I'm not attracting them. So I think I need to start like dancing or something. I don't know how to get people in here. The struggle, the struggle. It's 11.05, uh, that's why the lighting's like this. If I get pink eye tomorrow, no here, it came from Chipotle. <laughs> I'm saying that because there were no bathrooms, no bathrooms, no hand washing stations at all. I held my pee the entire time until the very last minute, except I went to Starbucks in the beginning to get Starbucks and I went pee then. Um, but at the very end, I went into Chipotle because my mom's like, well, if you go in, there's like this back way where they don't see you. So it's not like you're going in there and it's just obvious that you're not buying anything and going to the bathroom. It's the only, <sighs> whatever. And so the plan sounded great. It sounded great. I went through the back. No one saw me. The bathroom was right there through the back door. Um, and I went in and there was poop everywhere. I don't know who went in there. I don't know if they're okay. They're clearly not because I'm not exaggerating. There was poop everywhere on the floor, on the toilet, everywhere. I'm like squatting over the toilet, trying not to touch it. I'm trying not to step in it. Uh, I succeeded, but then I was like, my anxiety started kicking in. I was like, oh my gosh, they're going to think I did this. What if I get out of the bathroom and someone else is coming in? I was like, I have to clean this up. And so I'm scrubbing the floor. I'm scrubbing the toilet, trying not to get it on my hands. I clean up the best I could. There was still definitely poop on the floor and on the toilet when I left. But let me tell you, I cleaned it probably 60% of what it was. And so I was walking out. And someone was cleaning the hallway. So thank God I cleaned that because I know for a fact they went in there after I did. And they still probably thought it was me, but it wasn't as bad as it was. It's so gross. It's so gross. I feel disgusting. I'm going to get off here. I need to go in and shower. I need to go to bed. And we'll do an update another day, probably tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. Hi, hello, my name is Brittany. <laughs> it's been a second for you guys and a month for me. Um, so it feels weird doing my update now, but that's where we are, so welcome. There is Bluey in the background, so I'm gonna try to tune that out by crocking that door. Um, so, Hey, the market was, I took notes, don't worry. This is not all just like stored in my brain. The market was in Oxford, Ohio. It was free. I love that. They're so good to their small businesses in the area. Um, and so with that in mind, I didn't necessarily have a goal for the market. Uh, I just wanted to make money. So the setup, everything was organized beautifully. Weather was great. It was very hot. Um, it's unfortunately not during college season. So the kids were not there that go to Miami, which, um, is usually who buys from me, but this was my second market there without the college kids. And you know, because it's free, I was like, why not? Like, I truly don't think I can go through a whole market and not sell anything. And so it was going to be a learning process, but also, 
um, I did feel like it was gonna be profitable and I was right like it was um so <laughs> it was the theme under the sea I didn't necessarily I didn't make well I made a few things for the theme of it but I already had the supplies I had like um my whale bookmarks and I had some extra like seashells and so I put together a few uh extra things like Stanley charms and keychains um so I did a a little bit of work for it but not a ton a lot of people say and I, and I remember listening to this as I had just started is to try to tailor products to your market so like do exclusive market market products I am here to tell you I do not think that's a good strategy um one of the biggest things I've taken from doing markets this last year, so I'm officially like one year in, um, is that doing market specific anything is usually not a good idea <laughs> in my experience, in my limited experience, but I definitely experience. Um, I wouldn't ever suggest doing it unless you know for sure that is like an amazing market for you consistently you don't need like specific products. Um, so anyways, I just wanted to throw that in there. Um, it was busy, but it wasn't as busy as I thought it was gonna be. There was a lot of kids. Um, I felt like uh, most of my like sales were due to little kids coming. <laughs> he has shorts on, don't worry. Little kids wow. coming, hi. Little kids coming in and like begging their parents to buy them something. And while my booth is definitely kid, it tr attracts wow. kids, it's not like kid friendly things, you know? Like maybe like third grade and up could enjoy it, but like I wouldn't give a bookmark to a five year old. Not one of my bookmarks at least. Um, mm. And so I got a lot of those like guilt purchases from parents. And then, um, yeah, I didn't get a ton of the Damn. younger crowd, which is usually what would buy Damn. for me. So it did feel slow Damn. just in that aspect. Um, I really liked small businesses no. near me. I was next to, um, tell me how like bizarre this is. The chunky chickadee <laughs> showed up. I'm the chunky bee and across from me was the chunky chickadee. Is that not wild? We had never been on a market together and that was her first time. Mm. Uh, also first time at the Red Brick Fridays and we had never been anywhere else together. She's actually from Florida, but um, I thought it was funny. We are like now like distant cousins and businesses, at least from what people probably see with the names, um, but she was sweet. And yeah, it, no, nothing to complain about other than um, I was hot. But that's normal. I'm very hot all the time. So going to sales. Um, oh, I should tell you this market was a drinking, like there was a bar set, a tiki bar set up. And so it was um, funny to see some people were getting pretty sh like slosh, you know? And so, and I got a couple of sales from those sloshers. So yeah, I guess that worked out in my favor. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I read you the wrong stats. I just spent, oh my god, I'm putting it in here. I just spent the last like five minutes reading the wrong stats. I read you the Tip City ones. Um, but it, weirdly enough, they're like the exact same almost. So in card, I sold $201. In Venmo, I sold $24. In cash, we sold $87, bringing the grand total to $312. And we spent $42 in food. It's weird because so an eight hour day, we did three of six and a four hour day, we did 312. Like that's the difference between Oxford and other shows for me. So overall, even though the profit like wasn't high, I didn't have to spend any on the booth. I think that was a good show. I will definitely keep doing Red Brick Fridays in the future. I'm so sorry, there's Max. Um, and I'm just happy they keep having me. So and that was my market breakdown. Sorry it was delayed and I'm missing like sales transaction numbers. I just honestly don't keep track of that anyways. Um, but I will try to do better in the future. I normally add in like uh, positives and negatives and I didn't have any like 
crazy stories. I did get a little annoyed at one customer though. Um, I say customer, he was not a customer. One person that came up um, and he had to have been high school, college yeah, aged. Yeah. Um, but he came up and he was looking at my tumblers and he's like, I'll, I'll take one of yeah. these. Then all of a sudden, he got a really thick accent on me, and he was like, I don't speak English well. Um, like, and I don't care. Like, that's fine. And I went up and told him, I was like, do you know what these say? Because, like, my tumblers say, mom, mom, mommy, mama, you know? Um, and he was like, I want a tumbler. And I was like, that, I was like that's fine. They're $29. Um, they come with any charm you want. And um, I have a deal going on where you buy one, you can get one half off. If for some, I was like, if for some reason you need two mama tumblers. Um, and so he hands me a stack of cash. Like he just like throws it at me, which one, that's rude. Um, so I already I was like, that's rude. <laughs> uh, not great at communicating uh, socially. And I like opened the money and I could feel, I was like, this don't feel right. And at first I was like, well, maybe it's like a different like for like currency. Um, no, it was a stack of fake money. Um, it had like, I think like Donald Trump and stuff on it. And I'm just like, like really you're gonna do this to a small business owner, like pretend you wanna buy something and then uh, give them fake money and just sit there and like smile at them like and so i handed it back to him i was like this isn't real and like i just went back to what i was doing like i'm not i was not amused i don't know what reaction he wanted from me but uh, the reaction that i gave was just like you are annoying me that is that is how it was so if <laughs> if any of you are thinking to do that to someone someday just don't because um and maybe if I had been selling a ton of stuff at that point, I would have been like, no, I still would have been annoyed. Honestly, I still would have been annoyed. I hate, I don't hate those tumblers, but I do not want to keep selling them. And so I wanted to get rid of them. And I was hoping when he said that, he was like, gonna give it to his mom or something. So yeah, that was the annoying part of my day. But again, like I've said in the past, if whatever... I guess my story could be a bad one, but like that story, if that's the worst thing that happens at a market, it's a pretty good market. Are you touching? Oh, okay, I thought he was touching my embroidering machine. So yeah, that was the wrap up. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and please subscribe if you're not already, if you enjoy watching CD vlogs, market vlogs, Ipsy unboxings. I have one actually, I still need to put up. Um, any of those. Subscribe and I'll see you very soon in another video because the next market that you will see is going to be in two weeks. So you're gonna see an FC probably in between and another market vlog. Um, it'll be out be before the two weeks though because at this point, I will be honest here, it has already happened. And so I just need to edit it. <laughs> I just need to edit it. Okay, thank you. I'll see you soon. Bye.